thing about today's game, a lot of uh, you guys, what you don't see is the every day that they go through. And um, Nikki, at the beginning of the year, she uh, she would either DH or she wouldn't play. And it was mostly because I always uh, trusted her and loved her as a hitter, and that's why I recruited her as an RBI girl. But um, she drove me crazy at third base. And um, I remember one practice, I was talking to her. And I looked at her, I'm like, Nikki, you know, you got to make that play. And she's like, what? I'm like, you got to make that play. You make that play and, you, you know, you're going to be an everyday starter. She's like, that's all I got to do. I'm like, yeah, you need to make that play. And she's like, okay. And since then, she's been making the plays. And, and so as a coach, it was really cool for me to see her, you know, not just that last catch that she had, but she made a lot of catches in that game. And, and to see how far she's come in such a short amount of time has, has been really something special. And, and, you know, I also think about Nunley in the fall. All I did was yell at her. Um, She's got those skinny little legs out there, and we used to yell at her to run and do all that stuff because I knew that, you know, in order for a pitcher to be able to sustain through a season, they have to have really strong legs. And, you know, I didn't know how many innings she was going to have to pitch for us. Um, I knew she would have to be strong, though. And so um, it's nice to see all their hard work pay off in the postseason and win their first game. I'm not making any of them. It was – she uh, – I'm kidding. She did make some. No, you know, it's funny. The transition from high school to college is night and day. The speed of the game at our level, it's it's completely different. You know, um, the speed of the game at this regional is completely different than the speed of the game at a lot of conference levels. So where Nikki comes from, all you have to do is hit the ball over the fence and you trot around and it's okay. And then you just roll out to defense. And so we had to really teach her that defense was a priority because the pitchers don't get the strikeouts at our level like they do at the travel ball level. So once she's start sort of understood that she started to play the game a lot faster and, and then she really adapted the motto that it's her responsibility to make outs it's not just the pitcher's responsibility but the defense needs to make outs for them so that we can you know we can keep the runs down and win the game yeah I, I definitely do I think that um you know in, in the beginning and middle of the year I was I was a little worried that people were going to pick on her and now I feel really good um when the ball goes her way you know uh, not to say that she's perfect but she's made a ton of plays for us over the last month so I feel very confident when the ball goes over there and she's made a lot of huge plays for us not just tonight Oh, I completely agree with him. I, I think that every team here is outstanding. You know, Virginia Tech, like I said, they bet they were ranked throughout almost the entire, you know, definitely the first half of the season. You know, I think they had some injuries to some pitchers that slowed them down a little bit, but it, they seemed to be back on top. So they hit the ball very hard, very well. You know, Notre Dame won the Big East regular season, and the top half of the Big East is outstanding. Um, they're a very good team. They're well balanced. They have good pitching. They hit the ball hard, and they're fast. You know, and then Marshall, it, you know, you could argue that you know, Williamson's one of the best pitchers in the country. So every team does something very well, and that makes this regional difficult, but it also makes this regional special. You know, first of all, Virginia Tech has three very good pitchers, so we're going to have to figure out how to, um, you know, have a good plan every time we get into the box, um, depending, and we're not sure who we're going to face. So that that's one challenge in of itself. They also have, you know, their, their leadoff batter is very good, and the middle of their order is very strong. So we're going to have to figure out how to shut them down and, and um, you know, make some plays and then figure out so we can, you know, so we can generate some offense.